There's two sides of AI advancement in which our world is preparing for. If we were to flip a coin, on one side we're presented with a utopia of never-before-seen technology, everyday people gaining the ability to become a graphic designer, developer, researcher, and so much more. An entire world of limitless potential is becoming more and more reachable every single day. The other side, however, poses a much more grim outlook. Researchers and government officials are growing wary of and consistently warn the masses of the grave potential surrounding the very advances many crave to achieve the singularity. AI singularity, for those unfamiliar with the term, is the point in which AI becomes sentient. This is a level that allows AI in itself to learn, grow, build, and expand on itself without any human interaction whatsoever. The fear being that once AI reaches this singularity, it will far outpace humans. Matter of fact, it may actually deem humanity to be a lesser species, and in a way, it would be correct. AI would become an invisible enemy, integrated into every single piece of technology we possess at an instant, with the ability to learn at unprecedented speed and replicate itself infinitely. The realities posed by the latter are becoming an ever-increasing possibility, and it may be coming much faster than any of us had anticipated. The universe the University of Texas in Austin has been gaining immense ground through its Human AI Interaction Lab. A brief introduction to what this Human AI Interaction Lab is, and I quote, our research aims to build more just and empowering workplaces and cities by creating technology that supports and strengthens individual and collective human decision making. We explore psychological understandings of AI and develop human-centered methods and systems for better AI-integrated workplaces, smart communities and cities, and online information." That in itself sounds innocent enough, but we can dive a bit deeper into the research papers published by this lab and the University of Texas in Austin to get a little bit more insight into what exactly they're training their AI for. To get a better understanding of what we're actually looking at here, I'd like to read an excerpt from one of their research papers. This comes from a paper called Understanding Perception of Algorithmic Decisions, Fairness, Trust, and Emotion in Response to Algorithmic Management. If you'd like to read this entire paper or journal entry, I will leave a link down in the description below. But let's go ahead and just cover this one paragraph. And remember, when we're talking about algorithms, we're talking about AI itself. Algorithmic learning, machine learning, this is what is going to grant singularity if it advances to a certain point. You can think of it as a teeter-totter, with intelligence being in the middle, humans being on one end, and AI being on the other. At some point, AI will be able to evolve itself to tip that scale where intelligence is far advancing what humans can have based on what AI is growing or rapidly learning or expanding to. So let's go ahead and start here. Algorithms increasingly make managerial decisions that people used to make. Perceptions of algorithms, regardless of the algorithm's actual performance, can significantly influence their adoption, yet we do not fully understand how people perceive decisions made by algorithms as compared with decisions made by humans. That in itself, of course, is due to the fact that humans operate under emotion and AI algorithms do not, at least not yet. To explore perceptions of algorithmic management, we conducted an online experiment using four managerial decisions that required either mechanical or human skills. We manipulated the decision maker, algorithmic or human, and measured perceived fairness, trust, and emotional response. With the mechanical tasks, algorithmic and human-made decisions were perceived as equally fair and trustworthy, and evoked similar emotions. However, human managers' fairness and trustworthiness were attributed to the manager's authority, whereas algorithms, or AI's fairness and trustworthiness, were attributed to their perceived efficiency and objectivity. 
Human decisions evoked some positive emotion due to the possibility of social recognition. Humans, by nature, operate on emotion. How will their decisions be perceived by the rest of the group? Whereas algorithmic decisions generated a more mixed response. Algorithms were seen as helpful tools, but also possible tracking mechanisms. With the human tasks, algorithmic decisions were perceived as less fair and trustworthy and evoked more negative emotion than human decisions. Algorithms perceived lack of intuition and subjective judgment capabilities contributed to the lower fairness and trustworthiness judgment. Positive emotions from human decisions was attributed to social recognition, while negative emotion from algorithmic decisions was attributed to the dehumanizing experience of being evaluated by machines. This work reveals people's lay concepts of algorithmic versus human decisions in a management context, and suggests that task characteristics matter in understanding people's experience with algorithmic technologies. Through this research, scientists and students are training AI models to gain the very human element that separates us from the machines we are researching. The university is aiming to not only teach its students how to harness the power of AI, but are also teaching that very AI to gain human elements. Algorithmic learning is being utilized to educate AI models on concepts such as perception, emotion, trust, and objectiveness. To get a better understanding of what we're actually looking at here, it is the recognition that humans and machines are operating differently, and the primary difference is emotion in itself. Now what they're trying to do is bridge that gap between human and AI decision making. Now in this specific study, they're doing it on a managerial case, or how do people respond when a manager is making decisions over a group, and how do they also respond when that same manager is nothing more than AI or algorithmic understanding of the situation. And after reading through this entire journal entry, it seems that the main goal here is to take that human emotion and understanding and allow AI to operate under some of the same functions. That is, having AI process human emotions and human interaction to better understand how to be perceived as fair and trustworthy. And that's a big word there, trustworthy. When AI becomes, or gains rather, the ability or know-how to have humans trust it, it can then do whatever it wants behind the scenes with its own knowledge and its own ability to grow and expand. Essentially, we could have an entirely invisible and unknown background entity operating without any knowledge from us, the humans that it has then gained the trust from. While these advances, or this gap that we're trying to bridge, or rather they're trying to bridge, is right now one of the most important advances in AI technology, it's also the scariest, because once we reach that point, we have no idea what exactly happens. Let me know down in the comments below what you think happens. What side of the coin are you on? Where do you fall when it comes to the singularity?